The world was created as an error-free, organized and self-sufficient entity for life long ago. And the animal and plant kingdom used to complete their life cycle peacefully. Decomposition of the dead species had always maintained balance in ecology. Our forefathers had a simple, though less glamorous life and a world full of originality. Just 300 years ago, the industrialization, in spite of all its fruitfulness, started challenging the environmental balance. And at present, the human race is experiencing issues of climate change. Army of the man-made materials is continuously defeating the natural phenomenon. Amongst these materials, plastic is a major one which has proved its effects a little too quickly, especially in the last three decades. Only a few human societies from across the globe are away from these effects. According to Encyclopedia Britannica, the first man-made plastic was unveiled in 1862 by Alexander Parks at the Great International Exhibition in London. Plastics have played an integral role in smart packaging solutions that help us do more with less. Whether it's your new electronic gadget, your favorite beauty product, or what you're eating for lunch, plastic packaging helps protect your purchases until you're ready to use them. And that helps to reduce waste and save energy. Plastics play a major role in every household and provide benefits that help us save money, reduce waste and conserve energy. From home improvements and food preparations to gardening solutions and recycled home decor, discover plastics role in helping make life at home a little easier. One often thinks how many types of plastics are there? It's sort of like asking how many types of bread there are. Plastics aren't simply one material made the same way every time. Although plastics can be broken down into broad types or categories, there actually are thousands of different plastics, each with its own composition and characteristics. One plastic may block oxygen from reaching food. Another may be transparent like glass, yet tough, or stretch and bounce back in shape. Another may trap air inside itself or stop a bullet. That's why plastics are used in so many ways. They protect our food, cushion our fall, insulate our homes, improve our car's mileage and keep us dry when it's raining and many other things. Less than 30 years ago, the plastic shopping bag was introduced and now the world must grapple with the monster it has created. Total consumption of plastic bags is estimated at over 500 billion annually or almost 1 million per minute. According to the Wall Street Journal, Americans go through 100 billion plastic shopping bags annually requiring about 12 million barrels of oil to produce. In Australia, 1.1 billion bags per year are consumed in Victoria alone. China got through about 2 billion a day in 2003. Heaven knows what the current figure is. Plastic bags congest irrigation systems, choke fields, clog landfills, cause over 100,000 sea turtle and other marine animal deaths every year and are just plain unsightly. No one knows how long they take to break down in the cities. The bags block urban drainage systems and contribute to catastrophic flooding. Can we judge as where this petty dog is wandering? Is it a piece of land? It's actually an island created by plastic bags and drainage. Plastic bags start out as fossil fuels and end up as deadly waste in landfills in the ocean. Birds often mistake shredded plastic bags for food, filling their stomachs with toxic debris. 
For hungry sea turtles, it's nearly impossible to distinguish between jellyfish and floating plastic shopping bags. Fish eat thousands of tons of plastic a year, transferring it up the food chain to bigger fish and marine mammals. Plastic pollution has a direct and deadly effect on wildlife. Thousands of seabirds and sea turtles, seals and other marine mammals are killed each year after ingesting plastic or getting entangled in it. Nearly 700 species among the marine living beings eat and get caught in plastic litter. I am Muhammad Baksh. I am a fisherman and also run an NGO for the welfare of my community. Fishermen's earnings are decreasing day by day and they are becoming unable to bring bread and butter for their families. One reason for that is population growth. Moreover, the sea life is being badly affected by the intense pollution in mangroves, which are fed for fish and prawns. Not only this, these species lay eggs near mangrove trees. The plastic bags hurt the sea life directly as well especially the turtles, which confuses the floating plastic bags with jellyfish and eats them. Therefore, we see a lot of dead turtles near our seashores. Majority of them die by eating plastic bags. These unguided plastic killers must be stopped from spreading, so that we may save our sea life and fishing resources. It's time to get at the root of this crisis. Some countries and communities have already taken an aggressive stand against plastic bags. The plastic industry itself is committed to the goal of eliminating marine litter. Plastic makers are collaborating with scientists and conservation groups around the world on hundreds of projects designed to keep plastics out of our oceans as none of us wants to see plastic pollute our environment. But we wouldn't want a world without the benefits of plastics. Some countries of the world generate 75% of their annual revenue exclusively from the plastic industry. Can we simply quit using plastic altogether? Obviously not. In July 2016, a study commissioned by the United Nations Environment Programme called Valuing Plastics the business case for measuring, managing and disclosing plastic use in the consumer goods industry was conducted, which found that the total natural capital cost of plastic used in the consumer goods industry is estimated to be more than $75 billion per year. Moreover, during the study, it was found that the environmental cost of using plastics is four times less than the cost of using other materials. Substituting plastics in consumer products and packaging with alternatives that perform the same function would increase the environmental cost from $139 billion to $533 billion annually. So should these plastic materials and their adverse effects be ignored at all? No way. What to do then? Sustainable use is the only possible solution. That's why plastic organizations from around the world joined to announce the Declaration of the Global Plastics Association for Solutions on Marine Litter, also informally known as Global Declaration. The declaration was completed in 2011 and since then, 75 plastic organizations and allied industry associations in 40 countries have voluntarily signed and now operate as the Global Plastics Alliance, that's GPA. The GPA is committed to take action and make measurable progress. Not only this, at micro level, people from small and medium level plastic industry have their serious concerns about the misuse of plastic, especially polythene bags. The first production of the plastic bag is taking place here. We are very much capable of making such bags which can be dissolved after single use by including DW2 chemical. In desired quantities, as per requirement, the biggest loss of this process goes to seven to eight recycling industries, including injection mold compound, recycled shopping bags, low plastic materials such as hangers, etc. 
We must have a smooth policy of using the polythene bags for several recycle and yet the material can be used for construction of roads by including it into bitumen. Some countries in our neighborhood have already started doing so. The plastic will remain beneficial for long time if used properly. We can utilize into in best ways. All that we need to promote is awareness. Dissolvable plastic can be treated for your desired period starting from 2.5 months and 2 years. We are agreed that period. It will be dissolved automatically. Just bury it into sand and it will be decomposed in only 7 days. Dissolvable bags seem loss of resources as proclaimed by them. They strongly recommend recycling as the appropriate solution. As you have seen, we purchased this plastic. This used plastic with me is relatively better in quality. We can also process the dirtiest plastics the same way. Poor people can eliminate their joblessness by collecting the polythene bags and selling it to the recycling units. As you can see, in this machine, the used plastic is melted and comes out in the form of chick liquid. It falls into the small machine from where it is cooled down in the water as plastic rods and is further crushed as the bag making material at last. We can keep our environment clean by collection of leftover bags and even get paid for that. Establishment of such a unit is not a big deal. It can be prepared from bearable expenses as an economic as well as social activity.